So in this video, I'm going to spoil you a bit about my first year, which was during COVID. So you're probably thinking, how is it going to be useful for you guys? Who's going to attend in person, right? Well, I don't know. But as I said, this is my first year. So I'm going to share with you guys like what I think you should know beforehand, at the very least. While you're watching this, you're probably thinking like, this is pretty basic stuff, right? But this is more or less like a note to myself. And I think it can be useful for others. So let's get to it. Let's start with the academic stuff. As I mentioned, it was during the pandemic, right? So you would think that it would get me a first. Wrong. So basically, I was quite chill, if not too chill. So I actually didn't prepare anything. You know, like they said in the, the course that you don't need any prior knowledge to excel in the course, right? Well, I kind of took that a little too naively and I spent too much time on gaming, like Valorant and Minecraft, that I just legit let time pass until the term started. So advice number one, check your course content and prepare beforehand if you can if not try to get to know the topics early on like what they are and just get familiar with it early on in the course because like in the first year there are a lot of contents that feel like it would need the a level type of learning right where you just grind you practice until you know it throughout those are for the subjects like maths solid mechanics production and materials and also for someone that not really familiar with coding like me you should get started on python early on and also javascript too if you can it will save you a lot of trouble trust me so next for our course there will be a design engineering subject of course which will require you some creativity and all the challenges is not just in the solutions you trying to introduce them or trying to show them but it's about how you introduce them as well it literally states in the marking criteria so advice number two don't just stop at where you think it's good enough but you know look for like creativity or inspirations from your seniors the password or pinterest or just anywhere you can find i know the more you know the better like you might have heard that that the only way to find good ideas is to have a lot of ideas which is true because how can you know that this idea the current idea that you're having is better than the next 10 ideas that you might have discovered had you dive deeper into it. Also, just by looking at a lot of ideas, like other people's ideas, it can help you validate how good is your ideas. Has it been proven to work? Where are the rooms for improvement? Because, you know, the course doesn't aim for you just to ideate through the whole process and produce it and then hope it, it will fix it, right? It's about how you can sell it as well. Because what's the good in a product if it solves your problem but you cannot sell it? What's the point of inventions if no one knows it? or no one wants to use it. The last thing on the academic part, well, in the first year, you're gonna party a lot, which I think you should just go out there and enjoy life, but there's a limit to it. My last advice is that at least you should plan your day ahead or a week ahead, master your time management, because this would save you a lot of time catching up with the coursework and it will save you a lot of sleep. Trust me, you feel it when you go to higher years. Now onto life part, well, not sure if I'm the best person you should listen to, but in my experience, I spent my first year at home, so I didn't really get to meet anyone. The problem wasn't that I couldn't meet them physically, but it was that I didn't even bother to know them or talk to them. That was partly because I didn't like remote meeting, and also that I didn't feel like I need to know them, you know, because we're at home. Things felt very forced. And on to my second year, where I came to the campus, and you felt like no one really knows you, and you didn't know anyone, which was true, because you made it that way. But the thing is, some people already made friends with each other, and you feel like you might have missed some important events. I mean, things are good now, because I spend my time like making friends as well, but I mean, in the second year, right, where you should be worrying more about your academic stuff. So I think I only have one advice here, which is just to go enjoy your life, make some friends, get out of your comfort zone. It will feel very forced at first, but as it goes, you know what's good for you. And if it's not, most of the time it will lead to something better. So just do it. Thank you for watching. If it's helpful to you, please like and subscribe. If it's not, just do it anyway, it's free. Comment down below anything that you want to know further or just DM me. Oh, so that's all for now. I'll see you in the next one.